There's been criticism from band members across Canada about the salaries of their chiefs and councillors. This comes after private documents recently became public. With more on what's happening here on PEI, here's Lindsay Carroll. Earlier this fall, the federal government released the salaries of all chiefs and band councillors across the country to the Canadian Taxpayers Federation. It was part of an access to information request. The Federation says it was shocked at how large the salaries are in Atlantic Canada, considering the small band numbers. And it's no different on PEI. On the island, there are two bands. Lennox Island has 800 members. Chief Darlene Bernard is making $91,000 a year. Her councillors make from $30,000 to $50,000. The Abiguit First Nation Chief Brian Francis has 244 band members and makes more than Bernard, $120,000 a year. That's more than a provincial cabinet minister. His councillors make $71,000 a year and $64,000 a year. Some of the smallest reserves in Atlantic Canada had some of the largest salaries, and, and we really found that outrageous. Darlene Bernard defends her salary. She says she works hard for it and is actually underpaid. She says her salary was agreed upon by the community and has always been transparent. Chief Brian Francis didn't return CBC's phone calls and wasn't at the reserve office today. The Canadian Taxpayers Federation says more transparency is needed. It's launched an online petition to support a bill before government that would force reserves to make salaries public information. I've been hearing from hundreds of band members uh, in the Atlantic region and across Canada who are outraged at uh, what they see as a gross mispenditure of money when they see um, their chiefs and councillors making hundreds of thousands of dollars, yet the average salary on reserve is just about $15,000 in Canada. Several people I spoke with here today at the Scotchford Reserve were shocked at how much their chief and councillors were making. Some say they felt it wasn't deserved. One person I spoke with went as far to say they felt it was an embarrassment. Lindsay Carroll, CBC News, Scotchford.